Welcome to the Effortless English Show with the world's number one English teacher, AJ Hogue, where AJ's more than 40 million students worldwide finally learn English once and for all without the boring textbooks, classrooms, and grammar drills. Here's AJ with a quick piece to help you learn to speak fluent English effortlessly. Effortless English family, hello, I'm AJ Hogue, author of Effortless English, learn to speak English like a native. You know where to go. EffortlessEnglishClub.com EffortlessEnglishClub.com Try my VIP program. It's just one dollar to try. Give it a try. Effortless English family. Why do we use this word family to describe our, our group, our community, our international group of English learners, students, members, fans? You know, we tried actually some different nicknames. I think, I think at one time we were calling ourselves the Effortless English Army. But uh, I didn't feel right. Didn't quite feel right. People, you know, I don't know, just wasn't so popular. It, our group doesn't feel like an army, really. It's a little too, I don't know, uh, aggressive. <laughs> but so i don't know we tried some fair different nicknames for you know our international community but we finally chose family because uh, it it best describes the feeling of our group of our members and fans all around the world because you know there are people listening to effortless english uh, using effortless english courses uh, listening to the podcast the show connecting with me on um, facebook twitter Instagram, from all over the world. I mean, I can I can get in my into my accounts, for example, on YouTube and uh, Libs uh, podcast, and uh, I can check it and see the different countries where people are watching, and it's it's everywhere in the world, every continent, maybe not maybe not Antarctica, <laughs> but all the ones that have people. We have effortless English fans and members. So that's, that's great, but what makes our group special is that people are so positive. You're going to notice this. You'll notice this on my Twitter, for example. That's where a lot of our interactions happen, my Twitter. My Twitter's AJ Hogue, just my name, A-J-H-O-G-E. And one of the first things you will notice is how positive and friendly everybody is. Now, this is unusual online. It's actually quite unusual. You know, you, you can, if you go on to a lot of celebrities' accounts, uh, you'll see a good number, quite a lot of really negative, nasty things, bad things, and people arguing and insulting each other, lots of negative stuff. If you go on to business Twitter accounts, you'll see the same thing. So you won't see that on ours. It's quite amazing. It's quite special. And this has been true with Effortless English from the beginning, you know, 12 years ago when it started. Uh, I very much wanted to have a community of learners around the world, an online community. And sometimes we meet face to face, we meet each other, which is even more fun. But I want it to be very welcoming and very friendly and very warm. And then that's what we have. And so as we started, you know, talking about our group and our community, these were the words that were coming out, friendly, helpful supportive, positive, grateful, encouraging, enthusiastic, right? And so family just fits, family fits those adjectives. Family fits those descriptions. It's, it's kind of like a, an informal, uh, extended, large family, effortless English family. So that's why we use the hashtag EE family. That's why we talk about the effortless English family. It's because we want to give a family type of feeling where everyone's uh, really cares about each other. You know, that's part of our code. So how do we create this special family? Why is it different? I mean, why is it different than other online communities? Why is it so different, so special, so much more positive and friendly? And even though we have people from all religions and no religion, and all different countries and all different races and all different locations, all different ages, you know, philosophies, etc. <laughs> cetera. 
And really, it's I think it's guided by three things. One, we have a, the code. I did a recent video about the code, and I'll do more because that that's the really good one. It's a it's just it's kind of the three basic rules of our family, of our community. Right? We do the best we can. We do the right thing. We show each other we care. That's the code. Super simple. Easy to remember. Guides us. Very, very strong. Use that code in your own family or in teams at work or in your business, whatever. I encourage you. You can use that code in any group, any team, any community. And it's, it's really good. See, the problem with rules, if we make too many rules, it's too complicated. People forget about the rules. But if you just have three and they're very clear, very basic, very general, then it's a great guide. Really will help the group, the community. So that's one thing, our code. Number two is our mission. Our mission to, to explore new opportunities for growth, meaning to learn all the time, to bring confidence, vitality, and happiness to people all over the world. So that's helping people, right? Making people happy, helping people feel more confident. And the final part, to boldly go where we have never gone before. This idea of exploring, trying new things in our lives, not being afraid, being courageous and strong and bold. The opposite of fearful. That's our mission. That's kind of that's our big mission, what we're trying to do in the world, how we're trying to make the world a good place for people. And then finally, we have values, our values, the effortless English values. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. One particular value. We have many values. That, a value is something that's important. It's a quality, a characteristic, basically even like an adjective. It's, it's something that is important that we try to be and do. And one of the most important is contribution. One of our most important values, effortless English family values, is the value of contribution. Contribution is very important in our community, in our group. The verb is to contribute. To contribute. What does this mean? It means that as members of the group, this includes me. I'm always included in all of this. Me and all of the fans of the podcast and the show and everyone who buys the courses. Everybody in the Effortless English family focuses on contribution. What does that mean? It means you help other people. It means helping. It means giving instead of taking all the time. Focusing on giving instead of focusing on taking. Now, in my last show, I mentioned a quote. I'm going to read the quote again because uh, this quote really is about contribution. It's by a man named Zig Ziglar. Zig Ziglar, I'm not sure if he's alive still, but he was a, a salesman, a top salesman, really good at selling. He wrote a lot of books about selling and sales skills. And I liked him because he had a very positive mindset, a positive attitude about selling. And one of his most famous quotes is, you can get everything you want if you will help enough other people get what they want. So, you will get what you want if you help other people get what they want. It means you will receive by giving. Your generosity will come back to you, is the idea. The more you give, the more you help, the more you contribute to others, the more will come back to you, the more you will receive. It's a contribution mindset. For example, business is nice sometimes to use as an example because it's very clear, right? We can measure success in business with money. So it's kind of clear if we're doing a good job or not. So if you start a business, you can start a business. You might maybe you're a 
solo entrepreneur all by yourself. Maybe you've got a small group. Maybe you're more like a freelancer. Maybe uh, you're like a doctor, lawyer, accountant, kind of independent, self-employed, whatever. But you start a business. How will you succeed? How will you make money? There's really only one way, in a, generally. That is by helping other people. You have to do something for other people. Then they will give you money. The best one is to solve a problem. Solve a problem that people have. If you solve a problem for them, they'll be very happy and they'll be happy to pay you. So the more people you help by solving their problems, or maybe you just solve bigger and bigger problems, more difficult problems, either way, the more money you'll make, the more successful you'll be. You succeed in business by contributing. Now, some businesses, uh, they solve very small problems, but they do it for a lot of people, and so they still make lots and lots of money. And by solving problems, another way to think of it is just helping people. Making their lives more convenient, more easy, more comfortable. These are all ways to contribute to other people, right? I mean, like a cell phone, for example. The cell phone companies, how, they're helping. I mean, they help us. It's, very, it's super convenient, right? It's very, very convenient. Those machines are very, very convenient. We can talk to people. We can go around. we got all these cool apps on there. So they have helped us. They've contributed to us. They've made our lives much more convenient and easy. And therefore, we're happy to buy those phones and pay them money, right? And to pay for the uh, service every month. So that's pretty clear, right? The more you contribute, the more you help people, make their lives easier, more convenient, or maybe just happier. Sometimes some businesses like just entertainment, right? You just make them happy. You make them uh, feel less stress. You make them laugh. You make them smile. You entertain them in some way. Maybe just make them forget about their problems for an hour or two. That's also helping them, contributing. Maybe you teach them. Maybe you uh, have a service. Maybe you help their health. There, there are countless ways, many, 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 many ways to help people. But this is how you must think as a business person starting your own business, is you have to think in this way. How can I help people? What problem can I solve for other people? How can I make their lives more convenient, easier, happier? The more you do that, the more successful you will be. Let's look at another example of contribution, why it's so important, such an important value. Family. So forget money. Let's just look at family. You have, let's see, you're married and you have children. How do you contribute? Well, of course, you contribute love and caring and time and attention, a lot, a lot, a lot of it to your children. But that's how you create happy children and a happy family, right? The more you give and care and love them and help them and teach them all the things that you need to do, the more you contribute to them, you'll have a better connection with them. There'll be more love between you. You'll have a happier family and you, therefore, will be happier, right? When you're in a family, you're happier when everyone else is happier. Right? If, if your children and your wife are miserable and super unhappy, probably you will be unhappy. But if they are really happy and laughing and filled with love, then you are probably going to feel good also. Right? So you, you receive by giving. Right? You give love and you receive more. You give caring and then you receive more back. Contribution. You give to get. You first give, then you receive. You give help, you contribute, then you receive. Give first, contribute first. That's the contribution mindset that our Effortless English family has, that our members have, it makes us very special. 
In fact, I'm going to give some examples. I just want to, I just want to say thank you to a few people because on my Twitter, uh, I can't, I can't say everybody. There's so many wonderful Effortless English members who, uh, who help in so many ways. I mean, if you just go on my Twitter, you'll see that these members, these Effortless English members, this, this Effortless English family, they, they encourage each other. That's one thing they do to help, to contribute. So someone new comes and immediately lots of our members start, you know, tell you can do it. Good luck. You know, they encourage them to keep going, to work hard, to listen, to have success. They lift them up, make them feel better make them feel stronger, make them feel more confident. They congratulate if somebody has a success, if somebody shares a success, if someone has a, you know, gets a good result in a test or uh, gets a new job or their speaking improves, then many other members will congratulate them and say, good job, oh, fantastic, you know, really excited and happy for them. Congratulating is another way to contribute. Help. This is another one, very clear. You'll see this a lot on my Twitter, where uh, many of our, our kind of star members, our very, really great members, will help others who have questions. You know, sometimes I get busy. Sometimes I'm traveling and I'm not on Twitter for a while. And these other members will come on. They'll answer questions for people who are confused, people who have questions, people who have a problem. The other members will jump in and help them and guide them and give them advice. It's wonderful. Um, you know, you also contribute when you share your success story, when you improve, when you succeed with Everless English. You don't realize it, but, you know, some people are, they, they are modest, right? They don't want to say, oh, I'm great. Oh, I improved. Look at me. Look at me. So they're, they're kind of not, they don't want to do that because they feel maybe it's not good. But, but actually, I encourage you, please do that because when you do that, you contribute because you you help all the other members and fans. They see your success and they're inspired, they're motivated. They say, oh, wow, you succeeded, so now I can. I, I have a stronger belief that I also can do it. It makes them feel stronger and more confident. So that's why I'm so happy when you share your success stories, even small success stories. It doesn't have to be huge. It doesn't mean, oh, now I speak perfect English. That's not necessary. Even just a small improvement is still a success. So it's great when you share your success stories. That's another way to contribute. And it happens on my Twitter a lot. It happens on Facebook too sometimes. And I appreciate that. And I know other members appreciate it. it really helps their confidence. And then finally, you'll see a lot of gratitude. You'll just see a lot of gratitude where uh, people are thankful. People thank me all the time, and I appreciate that. It's very nice. It make, encourages me to keep going, keep recording, keep helping you. So I appreciate that. But they also um, help each other and they're grateful. So they say, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We see a lot of thank yous uh, in our Effortless English family, which is fantastic. So I'm just going to read. So I'm just going to, for example, some of our, you know, just recently, just looking on my timeline and Twitter, you know, Mehdi, one of our superstar members out of Iran, so helpful, so encouraging, so energetic about Effortless English and, and about really being helpful to others and inspiring them. Uh, Max, one of our great success stories from, from Italy. Uh, Kaula, who's in Turkey, Istanbul, who I have met in person. I've met Max too, both fantastic people. Uh, Carol, France. Savak, I think India. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Fernanda. Anderson, who's shared some great videos practicing his English. Uh, Emmanuel. Uh, Aya, who's always so nice and friendly, and Elena, Ibrahim, and many others. Many others. I'm sorry, I can't name everybody because there's so many, but these are just a few of the great contributors. A contributor is someone who contributes. A person who contributes, we call a contributor. So these are great contributors to our effortless English family. And I just want to say my gratitude and my thanks to them and to all of the other members who are so helpful on social media, in person, in many different ways, in our VIP program, so helpful, so friendly. This contribution. Now, contribution is not just for effortless English. This contribution mindset, it's for your whole life. 
you know, I mentioned the two examples, one of business, also in your job. Same thing, a lot of people who are employees, probably maybe the typical attitude of, of employees, the common average attitude of employees is more like, give me, give me, give me. They want to take, take. They're always complaining and they're focused on their paycheck. I want to be paid more. I want, you know, fewer hours or whatever, right? There, there's this kind of uh, give me, give me, give me, give me attitude. Um, that's not a contribution attitude. A much better way to be in your jobs is instead to focus on how can I do a better job? How can I contribute to the company? How can I contribute to my team, to my coworkers, to my boss? And what, what can I do extra that will contribute even though I'm not getting paid extra? And in the beginning, you might think, oh, I'm doing extra work for the same money. This is crazy. It's not crazy. It's not crazy because the more you contribute in that way, eventually you will receive back. Eventually other people will notice, your boss will notice, maybe your boss's boss will notice, and eventually it will help your career in the long term. You'll get promotions or maybe you'll just change to a different company. You'll gain more skills and work experience. Contribution and a contribution mindset helps in the long term. Okay, there's no guarantee that tomorrow you're going to receive something back. But if you look at if you look at it more like in years, if you measure the time in years, it comes back to you so much more. As I said, this is true in work, this is true in family, it's true in health and fitness, right? If you exercise, you you really you, uh, contribute to your health in a way, then you're gonna long term you're gonna feel better. But it's especially important when you're contributing to other people, giving, helping, making, focusing instead of on other people and helping them instead of your own problems. And this is another great thing about uh, the contribution mindset. It really kind of cancels, it lessens, it weakens fear and worry, right? Because when we focus just on ourselves and getting, getting, taking, taking, getting, taking, getting, taking, we can get kind of stressed. We get more stressed. We get more worried. Uh, uh, I'm not getting enough. I'm not getting enough. It's not working. And, and it's much easier to be stressed and worried and even fearful. Oh, well, maybe I will fail, uh, right? Because we're focused on ourselves. It's kind of this selfish attitude. But when we focus on contribution, when you focus on contribution, you'll notice that your fear drops, it maybe disappears. Your worry drops, maybe disappears completely. Your greed, your desire for more and more and more drops or disappears completely when you start to focus on contributing to others. This will make you happier. You'll feel happier. You'll feel more relaxed. You'll feel more confident and you'll get better results in your life, whether that's more money, whether that's improved English, whatever it is. It's just, it's amazing. I don't know. It's some kind of law of the universe, a spiritual law of the universe, perhaps, is one way you can look at it. Another way you could look at it is that it's some kind of uh, a law of psychology. This is just how our brain works because we're such social creatures. However, whatever explanation you have for it, I just know that it's true. I've seen it again and again and again and again and again in my own life and as I've mentioned many times, within our own effortless English family and community. Contribution mindset. Focusing on contribution, on contributing to others more than getting for yourself. It's so powerful. So I want you to try this. Get out there and try it in your own life. And, um, you know, if you follow me on Twitter, AJ Hogue, or Facebook, yep. Just be kind. Just be, you know, say, say a kind word to one of the other members. Something very small like that. It's a great way to contribute, to make everyone feel better. That makes our effortless English family truly special. Go to EffortlessEnglishClub.com and join my VIP program. Lots of love to you, and I will see you next time.